Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and then possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information for you. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, the awareness for the week, the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles, we see all of these pentacles here floating. But what we really see is we see uh, a number of generations reflected in this illustration. We see the couple, we see the child, the patriarch, the pets. So this is the family, and it can represent the extended family as well. And it's a matter of you focusing this week on the resources, your money, your budget, your estate, and uh, really the time and energy it takes to take care of matters of the home. So this may be a week where you have to focus on, could be as something as mundane as home repairs, of meeting with accountants or lawyers or whomever to confirm or to double check things that you have in place to protect your family. For some of you, maybe it's meeting with, uh, to take care of an elderly parent or grandparent. And so, you know, there's a lot of work involved with trying to find, if, if, you, if they have to move to an assisted facility, there's a lot of work behind of, of visiting places. So, you know, this is a card to focus on the family. Uh, that you work hard and you're providing money to take care of your children, to take care of spouse or uh, elderly parents or perhaps siblings. And so this is your focus for the week is to think about the resources and, and your family. And again, it could be simply you and you define your family as you, but it's a time to take, uh, to take care and to look closely at matters of your home, of all the things that, ref that go on with respect to your home. So with this awareness for the week, here we have the Ten of Swords. We have two Tens, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of, I'm sorry, Ten of Wands. I didn't mean Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. And this guy is pushing these wands up the street. So it shows a lot of strength. It shows a lot of determination and willpower. But ultimately, it's going to be exhausting. To have to feel that you have to do this will take its toll because this represents too much on your plate, feeling overwhelmed, feeling overburdened, overworked, overcommitted perhaps, where you have so much going on. Often when you're really good in your job, you know, people ask you to do a little bit more and they do it under the guise of, oh, you're really, you can do this so quickly. You're really good. Just do this for me. And if it's your boss asking, you're like, okay. And things can become unequal pretty quickly. So it's up to you to be mindful of this, of, of your workload and of your life load of, of commitments and obligations. And if you're doing too much, if you're carrying the burden, if you're carrying the water all the time, then you need to try to delegate. You need to try to get some help because ultimately this turns into resentment and it turns into, can lead to stress or illness. We sometimes think that we, that think that we can do it all, uh, but in hindsight, it's hard to do it all. So take care of yourself. Awareness is for you to be mindful of how much you're putting out and is it, uh, is it time to ask for support and for help for you. So with respect to guidance, oh, our lovely Queen of Wands, oh, and the King of Pentacles. So the Queen of Wands, charismatic, sensual, confident, confident uh, ruler. And so she sits here poised, looking for things that make her feel good and make her feel excited. And with Wands, we have that Beautiful fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which is let's get out there and do it. Let's create something. Let's build something. 
let's celebrate, let's have fun. Across all areas, she knows how to use her power. She's capable, she's smart. She's, again, confident and willing to take risks, willing to put herself out there. And so this is a time for you to take action, to be confident, to whatever path or place that you're putting your energy into, you're going to make the most of it. The Queen of Wands is a can-do. There, you know, in life there are the do-bees and then the don't-bees. And she's a do-bee. Let's get it done. Now, on the shadow side, maybe she can be too domi domineering that it's her way or the highway. Or such a forceful personality is so demanding that it can influence and impact a group dynamic. It's just something that you need to be mindful of. This, this could be qualities that you would benefit from. It could be someone within your circle, within your family, or within your, in your environment. This very strong personality, someone who's successful, someone who has a real zest for life. And then she's looking at the King of Pentacles, and he's really not that, he's not looking back because he's so focused on his stuff, his pentacles, his grapes, all this goodness and the comfort of what he has acquired. Again, he's a kind and fair, generous ruler, but someone who is very focused on building uh, abundance, perhaps through securing material things. He's very focused on the comfort of home, of having things that he enjoys. Maybe it's a fine watch, maybe it's a fine meal, fine wines. He's going to look for the, um, the nice, he's going to enjoy the hard work that he's put into getting into this King of Pentacles. He's going to enjoy it with the stuff that, uh, that he finds worthy. So how did this king get to be so successful? What's something to take away for guidance for you? He got to be successful because he is very good at managing money and paying attention to money and investments and doing research and hard work. Not the flashiest of kings, even though he's surrounded by abundance. This king is, uh, has gotten through, through, through hard work, studies, knowing what he needs to do in order to get there. And that is pragmatic and that is common sense. So common sense, here's this lovely message of be confident in your decisions and your actions. Follow your passions. Make the most out of your life. However, don't forget to be practical, to save some money too, to take care of yourself and perhaps taking care of your family as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we have the a sip here okay we have the six of swords gemini libra aquarius swords typically indicate adversity or challenges that people face this cloaked couple is being transported to somewhere else away from the rough water to smooth waters they have support from this person here pushing the oar so there's a real sense here of your actions may lead you to a new location. You may say that I need to transition. I need to move forward. I need to make the move in order to make the most of my life, to get myself to a peaceful and serene place. This could also be a temporary trip or somewhere where you're moving on maybe to get clarity to think about things that you need to take yourself away from a situation. But, you know, literal translation could be a trip on a boat, on water, going somewhere. Whether it's permanent or whether it is temporary, there is movement here. And think of transition. Think of moving forward. You're getting to a place that's going to be more satisfactory to you. And so the good news here 
and looking at these cards focused about focused on money, focused on resources and actions and of protecting yourself. Here's the world. And the world comes in to say everything is going to be great for you because ultimately you're going to be successful. You're going to reach your dreams and your desires and your hopes. She is within this victory wreath and she's got she's doing a little dance here without her clothes, she's celebrating, she's recognizing, being recognized, excuse me. And um, this is really very much a victory dance because why? Because you feel content, you feel fulfilled that whatever you've done behind the scenes, you're getting to a place of abundance of through your practical thinking of taking action to get you to that place. You may be building a wonderful foundation for your family as a result of your actions. This is contentment and fulfillment. The world, you literally have the world in your hands. You have completed your journey. You've gone through adversity. You've had to do some things. You've had to deal with some things. But you're going to be happy and you're going to be fulfilled. So the question is, what's next for you? Because we just don't stop. We start a new journey. We, we have this new opportunity, a new path. And what will that be? And perhaps in the transition, this transition to a new place brings the new opportunity that opens up your world. So interesting cards. Let's go ahead and get a little more information from the Oracle cards. So this would be a focus area or meditation point for the week. Traveling lightly. Simplify your life. And this is a card of traveling lightly. Simplifying your life. Focus on what's really important to you. When you simplify your life and when you are able to travel lightly, you create more freedom. Freedom to move. Freedom to change your circumstances instead of being held down. And now I'd like to choose a card for spirit or emotional self. The Miracle of Prayer. Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Sandalphon, for delivering my prayers to heaven. So, prayer affirmations, visualizations, you know, it's a matter of setting your intention of what do you see? What are your thoughts? Your thoughts can lead to success and through the universe listening and reacting to the energies and the vibrations that you put out. So, um, again, whether you are praying or whether you are setting intentions, meditating and really honing in on what it is that you want to build and create. That's important. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what we have in terms of messages for love. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. It's a beautiful card. And again, it goes to visualizing what the future you want will be. You have to think about it. You have to have that thought. You have to visit it every day. It has to be in the forefront of your mind. How do I want my life to look? You know, what can I do to get there? So continue to dream and make each day your best. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading at something resonated. If it did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I wish you a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.